leader, you would like to do the exempted business. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move that the proceedings on the business set down on the order paper for today be exempted at this day sitting from the provisions of Standing Order No. 2. The question is a motion moved by the leader. As many as of the opinion say aye. To the contrary, say no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Mr. Yipon Wing. Mr. Speaker, sir, women today have varying aspirations. Despite the ambitions, most will, at some point in their lives, find themselves being responsible for the care of a loved one. This could be a parent, a grandparent, a spouse, a child, a sibling or relative. Yochukang is a mature estate. I know many of my residents who are caregivers. Hence, supporting caregivers is a subject that I take great personal interest in. I agree with the various recommendations in the White Paper to enhance support for caregivers. Certainly, I also concur that men should take up our share of caregiving responsibilities. It should always be an equal partnership. Caregiving is both physically and emotionally draining. Sometimes it requires round-the-clock attention is usually more challenging than what is conventionally regarded as real work, especially with the emotional attachment. Yet, unlike formal employment, there is no remuneration. There is only sacrifice and the self-satisfaction of knowing one's loved one is well looked after. Caregivers put their own aspirations on the back burner, and this may cause some of them to face social isolation and suffer from low self-esteem, which may cause which may result in poor emotional and mental health. They may worry about a time where they too will require caregiving, but lack the finances for it. While the proposals in the White Paper are laudable, I would like to suggest more services and support with direct benefits for caregivers. First, Mr. Speaker, sir, the government should consider providing a grant for employers to offer paid leave to caregivers. In the US, some states enacted legislation to create mandatory family leave insurance programs to provide caregivers with paid time off. Several EU member countries such as Belgium, Denmark and Finland have various forms of caregiving leave and benefits. This is to ensure that caregivers are not financially deprived from their caregiving roles. Paid caregiving leave together with respite and daycare for patients will allow caregivers to take a much-needed break to recharge. I know caregivers amongst my residents who have not had a real holiday in years since they started looking after family members with chronic conditions. It's a 24-7 commitment with no scheduled break. Second, Mr. Speaker, sir, I hope the government can consider providing tax breaks for caregivers who have to finance items that are not subsidised under the Seniors Mobility and Enabling Fund, or SMF, such as diapers and nutritional supplements. These are items required on a regular basis and the costs do add up. We should also consider tax breaks for caregivers for persons with mental health problems, which may include adult children, spouses and siblings. Include them in the conversations and proposals. This is because the current recommendations are focused on mothers and caregivers of seniors, children with developmental needs and persons with disabilities. Third, Mr. Speaker, sir, the Agency for Integrated Care, or AIC, as a one-stop centre for caregivers, must be adequately equipped to provide support for all kinds of caregivers. Beyond caregivers of seniors, this should also include caregivers of persons with mental health con uh, problems and children with chronic health conditions. In Yoshukang, I have seen how caregivers need additional support after their loved one pass away. At times, they are lost and end up having prolonged grief, which then affects their own mental health. The support from AIC must be comprehensive, simple and accessible for all types of caregivers to seek help without requiring onerous research. AIC can better link up with the community and have better visibility. To my knowledge, not many people may be aware that AIC provides support for caregivers too. 
I can volunteer Yochukang constituency to work with AIC on this effort. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, sir, we should consider having a Caregivers' Day or even a Caregivers' Week to create awareness and recognition. Like the SAF Day, businesses and organisations can provide discounts to caregivers. The logistics may have to be fine-tuned, but the goal is to appreciate caregivers for the essential role they play in our society. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, sir, it is said time and again that one of the most important things a caregiver should do is to take care of themselves. This has to be a whole-of-nation effort. As a family-friendly society, we can do more to care for our caregivers. Thank you.